For the first time, CBS 11 can show you what it is like inside the Dallas Convention Center where some migrant teenage boys have lived now for nearly two months. J.D. Miles has a story you will only see right here on CBS 11. More than 1,500 boys have spent just about every waking moment since mid-March inside this bubble, a convention hall turned into a temporary detention center. Tonight, we get an exclusive look at what's being done to improve their quality of life, which up until now has been a source of mystery and controversy. It looks like a typical youth soccer game, but this game among 13 to 17 year olds kicking the ball around on the artificial turf is being played inside the K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center. They are some of the migrant children bust in from the border under tight security who we have heard about for months, but now seeing images of for the first time. It makes me feel very good that for the first time children are being treated as uh, human beings. Uh, that someone cares for them, that someone's taking the time to do things that um, that hadn't been done in the past. Local civil rights activist Carlos Quintanilla says he's encouraged by the scenes inside the convention center, which he says are a far cry from what has been documented at other detention centers earlier this year. Well, we were seeing graphic pictures of children wrapped in aluminum. Uh, no sanitary uh, support systems. CBS 11 News obtained the photos from someone to show that reports of overcrowding and mistreatment at other facilities in Texas are not a reflection of what's happening here. The soccer games are among several activities CBS 11 News has learned are being offered to create a healthy, socially active environment. The boys have uniforms, the games have referees, and there's even a handmade trophy for the team that wins a tournament Underway. That's what America's all about. We're about being compassionate. And if we're not compassionate with children, then we're not a great America. And so today we're showing that we can be a great America and we treat our children with love. We've learned there are plans underway to give these migrant children more activities like this, even some off site. In Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. J.D., thank you. And there are signs of improvement at other temporary holding locations. During a Friday tour in Donna, Texas, there were 334 children in that facility. A little over a month ago, there were more than 3,000. The Biden administration credits the improvement for moving more children out of Customs and Border Protection facilities and into Health and Human Services facilities better suited for the needs of children.